please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this chapter of sexual reproduction in angiosperms today we will discuss about a flower flower it is a specialized condyle shoot or it is a modification of stem dear students flower that represents reproductive structure of angiosperm the flowering plants and for the induction of flower for the development its synthesis that occurs in response of a chemical substance and that hormone is florizel dear students florizel that gets synthesized in a leaf during day time in presence of light and co2 a unstable product that is a and this unstable product a is converted into a stable final product b or florizel during darkness or night time not down in case of leaves the chemical substance the hormone the florizel which gets synthesized and this florizel hormone it is transported via the vascular tissue through phloem tissue to a vegetative bud and in response of this florizel the vegetative bud that converts into a reproductive bud or a flower it means induction of flower occurs in response of this chemical substance it is florizel the florizel hormone is responsible for the induction of or for the conversion of a vegetative bud into a reproductive bud or a flower this is structure of a typical flower a flower may develop in the axil of a leaf like structure and that leaf like structure it is bract dear student this small stalk like structure and this stalk of a flower it is pedicel its terminal part that becomes a broad base and this terminal part of this pedicel on which all floral organs get arranged dear students this terminal part no down competitive exam students this broad base or terminal part of this pedicel it is thalamus it is torus or it is receptacle on this receptacle all floral organs are arranged a flower having four organs four types of organs sepals petals stamens and carpels these small leaf like structures these are sepals which collectively constitute first whorl of a flower that is calyx and these large size colored leaves named petals and all petals collectively constitute second whorl of a flower that is corolla and these structures these are stamens which represent male reproductive organs and these stamens collectively constitute third whorl of a flower androecium while this central part that represents the carpel carpel pistil it is megasporophyll that represents fourth whorl of a flower that is gynoecium it means in a flower four different organs are present sepals petals stamens and carpel out of these four organs sepals and petals are non essential organs dear students these sepals and petals are non essential organs because these are not involved in sexual reproduction in angiosperms while the stamens and carpels and these stamens and carpels are essential organs which are directly involved in sexual reproduction in angiosperms first of all we will discuss stamen or a microsporophyll not down competitive exam students flower that is a modification of stem and it's all floral organs sepals petals stamens carpels these are 
modifications of leaves it means these stamens carpus these are special these are modified leaves the stamen or it is microsporophyll dear students it is such type of fertile leaf which produce microspores or pollen grains so it is named microsporophyll and a stamen stamen represents male reproductive organ of a flower each stamen having two parts this elongated cylindrical sterile part that is filament or it is stalk of stamen and it possesses a fertile part this upper part represents anther no down stamen having two parts this lower stalk like structure this elongated slender structure it is filament and this upper part which is fertile structure it is anther each anther having two lobes dear students anther having two lobes these are anther lobes anther possesses two lobes the condition is bithecus or it is dithecus and both anther lobes are separated by a deep groove and in this deep groove a sterile connective part is there and that part it is connective and that connective consists of vascular strand it means stamen or it is microsporophyll because it represents male reproductive organ of a flower and this anther produce microspores or pollen grains so this entire structure it is stamen or it is a modification of leaf that is microsporophyll each anther having two parts this small stalk like structure it is filament and this upper fertile part it is anther anther having generally anther having two lobes and both anther lobes remain connected by a sterile connective tissue that is connective through this connective tissue vascular strand runs this is all about a typical structure of flower induction of a flower in response of this hormone that is florism and this florism gets synthesized in leaves during night time it means the synthesis of florism florism hormone that occurs in leaf during darkness and this florism which gets transported into a vegetative bud and in response of this florism the vegetative bud that converts into a reproductive bud or a flower for the induction of flower this special hormone that is florism which gets synthesized in leaves leaves are essential for the development of flower and dear students a flower having four organs sepals petals stamens and carpels sepals petals are non essential organs while stamens and carpels are essential organ of flower because these are directly involved in sexual reproduction stamen or it is a microsporophyll these all floral parts are modification of leaves while flower is a modification of stem and each stamen having two parts this small elongated cylindrical structure it is filament and its upper fertile part that is anther anther having two lobes so the condition is bithecus dithecus and anther lobes remain connected by a sterile part in which vascular tissue is present that part is connective this is all about general structure typical structure of a flower its development